I was born and raised into young living, but there came a point I remember as an adult when I made the conscious choice to really be a part of what we are doing here. Those inflection points are important, where we decide to do something because it's what we want and believe is best for us. Like switching to a low tox life, or even switching careers. And our guest today has personal experience making that purposeful choice, and you'll love hearing why they chose Young Living. Hello and welcome to Young Living's podcast, The Wild Drop. My name is Jacob Young, your host. Young Living is a world leader in producing and distributing premium essential oils. And this podcast will provide you with drops of information about Young Living, including stories, history, product information, lots of little fun facts, and even more. Today, we have the Vice President of Product Marketing, Monica Catalano. Monica, welcome back to the podcast. How are you doing today? I'm so good. I am so happy to be here. Well, when was our last time we talked? Uh, right after convention, right? Yeah, I think so. So it's, it's been... It's been a bit. A bit, but uh, almost one year. Yes. So slowly approaching convention. I know everyone's super excited. How are you doing in the product world? We are, we are off to the races. <laughs> I mean, but first, we, we have a great event coming up that we are, we are preparing for now our spring Young Living Day, and then we're going to get to convention. So um, we, we're ready to go. We have some great products up our sleeves. So I, I hope we get to see everyone in July. Come check it out. Yeah, so we're super excited for all of you to arrive. Convention is a, an amazing and fantastic time. If you're new, don't know about convention, we have quite a few podcasts discussing conventions. So fantastic. check them out uh, here on the podcast side. And uh, yeah, well, for those that might be new to the podcast, Monica, I think it'd be great if you kind of explained your background, your history, oh, sure. and what you're currently doing and why you love doing it. Okay, well, sh where shall we start? So I'll just... You know, I am a country girl at heart, right? I was raised here in rural Utah, um, but I've always had these big city dreams. I ended up going to college here in Utah, and the day I graduated, I was off to Europe and traveled for the summer. I worked in London um, in a restaurant, and then I, I came back really the month before 9-11. Oh, wow. So it was, what, uh, 2001, mm -hmm. and I had already committed to moving to Los Angeles. So my main goal in life was I, I was ready to leave Utah, and I moved to Los Angeles without a job. Um, I was able to quickly land a job, but then 9-11 happened. So I, I, was, I felt really alone in this big city. I ended up, um, my background being, I worked uh, public relations uh, for a few years, and then it was really important to me, what I realized, because um, I represented a, a big company, but my, my core values really didn't align with them. And also my passion. So I, I always joke with people that I'm never expecting to win the lottery because I feel like I have won the lottery with my career. Mm. And... One of my uh, best friends, she said, hey, Monica, I notice you really love makeup. You love skincare. I am actually a product marketer at uh, this cosmetics company. I think this would be something you'd be interested in. And really, it's 20 years later. And that was how I got my start. So I have worked um, for 20 years in the beauty and personal care industry in omni-channel distribution, brick and mortar, and once I moved back from Los Angeles to Utah about eight years ago uh, into direct selling. So I have just, you know, when you, when you think about, you know, why, you know, I'm a mom, right? I have three girls and I really would love to be home with them every day, which they are obviously my priority, but I love what I do so much because there have been so many testimonials that I have made someone feel more beautiful or I have the products that I have helped create have made someone feel well. And so really that's what lights my heart on fire is knowing that I can impact someone's confidence or health. Fantastic. So you're not actually working. You're just enjoying life then. I, I honestly, like I, you know, I have those moments that I'm like, oh, I need to capture this time. But I feel like right now that I have an amazing supportive husband. Um, Young Living is such an amazing company to work for where I can balance my, my work and my family. And they definitely understand that my uh, girls are the priority. 
Fantastic. Well, we really do believe that family always comes first with everything. My dad was very big with family and always made sure that family was taken care of first. And just like everybody here, we always consider everybody family and we want to make sure everybody is taken care of first. So I'm really happy to hear that that has been the case for you. So you talked about being in product yep. uh, and in beauty. So obviously that's where you are currently. Yeah. And I think it would also be great if you kind of explained what you're currently doing, some of the projects that you've worked on that you've been responsible for. Yeah. That way, if people really like it, they can tell you. And if they really hated <laughs> it, they can tell you as well. No, I'm, no, I'm joking. And then... Maybe, you know, maybe a, a few sneak peeks or hints to mm. possible upcoming projects. I know it's close to conventions, yeah. so to get people excited and to add teasers is what they really <laughs> like. All right. Well, let me see without getting myself in too much trouble. Um, okay. So here at Young Living, we basically, I won't try to use too much jargon, but we do have basically different categories that we work in. So we have teams that rally around these categories. And so we have essential oils, which includes CBD. Uh, We also have supplements. Yep. uh, Dietary. Yep, supplements. And then we have basic consumables, so kind of like your food, which is einkorn. Mm -hmm. Um, You also have like your waffle mix and crunch. Yeah, (laughs) Uh, we have beautiful skincare, so um, personal care, shampoos. Uh, And then we have our healthy home line, which includes thieves and all the other... um, Luscious lemon. Yeah. So, you know, just going through the, we call it the portfolio, it's very vast. And so... I love the ability to flex from essential oils and personal care. And throughout the day, our teams are working in each of these categories. So I think that you're going to, you can see just by kind of studying the industry, we are seeing an explosion of nutrition products, right? We understand that there is such a focus on mental health right now. And so I think that you're going to see a nod to holistic well-being. And, of course, we are an essential oils company, and we are staying true to who we are. So you'll also see um, some of those type of products at convention. Yeah. and Did I give too much away? No, no, absolutely not. Not I think, enough? <laughs> I think the best part, yeah, I was actually waiting for you to say something. <laughs> But I think the best part about our supplements is not only are they outstanding by themselves, but they're also powered by essential oils infused with them. And that's what makes them so amazing as well. Um, One of my favorite products that you got to work on as well was Immu Gummies. Honestly, one of my favorites. I have to be very careful with those. I found that my limit is six. Don't ask me how I know. Uh, It's a great cleansing product if you eat too much. That's all I can say on that. Um, So, but they are. Do you pair it with daily fiber? Uh, daily prebiotic fiber? Um, I usually do like one in, the, one in the morning and one at night yeah. um, just to make sure that I'm hitting everything throughout the day. But yeah. I mean, I am a product of the product. So there's a, I have a huge like product regimen, especially with me being more active in the gym to put on size for jousting <laughs> and stuff. Uh, I mean, there's there's so many different products that I take. Agilis and Cardiogize are probably one of my favorites. Um, oh, those, those are, are good. Those are fantastic and phenomenal. I did love the fish oil, but I hated the fish taste. Yep. No especially fishy with, burps. Especially with the burps. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So th- those are kind of like my go-to, especially with day-to-day um, and everything that I do. So I love that. And I get added add gummies on top of it. So And it never seems to be too much. It's always like the perfect amount. And what's so amazing about all of the products is I notice almost on a daily basis like if I miss one I'm like oh my goodness I can I can kind of feel that I forgot right. that one right so it's it's really good oh I love that I think you know Mary Mary talks to us a lot about being the product the product and it's really easy to do that when you have great products mm-hmm um, have you done a reset yet? I have not done. A, so everyone always asks me if I've done a Ningxia reset. And <laughs> what's so funny is like, I've basically been doing a reset my entire life. That is fair. Just because <laughs> I've been consuming Ningxia on a daily basis yeah. for years and years and years and years. Um, I guess you can sort of count Ningxia Zing being part of the Ningxia there reset. There you go. There you um, go. I do consume more of that than I do red. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it's been fantastic. We've heard some phenomenal testimonials from the Ningxia reset. We're really happy with how it's been going. Um, just heard nothing but great response and great reviews and just people raving about Honestly, it. Honestly, I... You know, maybe it's the schedule I keep and, you know, I'm an early bird, but I have a really hard time staying asleep. And I did a reset 
I could feel that it helped my sleeping patterns. And then um, what I love to do, uh, and maybe it's because my background is in personal care, yeah. but I love making Ningxia red beauty cocktails. Awesome. Or I should say mocktails because they truly are mocktails, but I always start everything with the base of uh, two ounces of Ningxia. And then I love adding inner beauty collagen, mm. turmeric, sulfurzyme, and I always compliment that with uh, Super D every wow. morning. And and I honestly, I feel like it has gotten me through this winter along with Emmy gummies. Fantastic. Love it. Well, being here for just a little bit over a year, you kind of have like a fresh experience, a fresh insight to the world of Young Living, all the products that you've used. You've been to quite a few different events or been part of a few different events. So I'd love it if you kind of shared what some of your favorite products are, obviously besides the Ningxia that you just shared, yes. and uh, maybe a favorite experience or two. Okay, so since I love product, let's start with the product question. Okay, okay so start my day every day with peppermint essential oil. I love, for a personal fragrance, Kid Power. I also, I love Thieves Household Cleaner. Mm. I cannot, I am converted for life for a Thieves Household Cleaner. I love Einkorn Crunch for my, my kiddos' lunch boxes. And I am powered during the day by Zing and Nitro. <laughs> As am I. As am I. Fantastic. Okay. okay, so we got products. We have products. So I have to say, we already went over the, the experiences of convention, so I won't go into that. But I think... What I needed this winter was I actually went to Winter Harvest up in Highland Flats. And what a touching experience. You know, I mentioned that I am a country girl at heart, right? That that's where my roots are. And I just felt like I was so connected to the earth by going back. I was able to meet the farmers it was so impressive how the whole process, like when we have so many essential oil bottles around here, and once you go and you see how much work is involved into distilling a 5 ml bottle, your appreciation for the product, the perspective changes forever that all that manpower, what the earth has created. So that was a really touching experience for me. I also got to meet with a lot of brand partners that uh, the week that I was there, they were actually individuals from all over the U.S. We, they were all U.S. But they, they weren't there with, a couple of people weren't there with friends. And it was just so interesting to hear their stories. Uh, and I love that the majority of our, our, our customers and our brand partners are here um, because they've had an experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is truly phenomenal to go to the harvest and see everything from start to finish. I think when people understand everything that happens or has to happen mm -hmm. behind the scenes to give you this bottle of just oily goodness, yeah. um, I think people start to have a greater and bigger appreciation for it. And one of my favorite comments, and it's also one of the hardest things I, I feel like for people starting to get into Young Living is obviously we have a very difficult price point entry, mm -hmm. I would say. And it's because of our unwavering commitment to quality that we're not willing to cut corners. Uh, we aren't willing to sacrifice quality or anything like that. And so a lot of the times when people come to the harvest, the number one comment that I hear after they have finished a harvest was, you don't charge enough. <laughs> <laughs> we understand now. It, yeah. it makes sense. But every time that I've gone to a harvest, the experiences, the memories, the people, the connection, and working alongside everybody is mm -hmm. just something that almost you can't really describe and have some people expect to understand it. Yeah. It's something you have to experience for yourself. And I, I've said this a hundred times on the podcast, every time that we've mentioned farms or harvest, people sometimes will say, well, if you've been to one, you've been to all. And that is, I, I, I can't even understand or fathom how people say that because each farm is so unique and so different 
has its own story and kind of its own personality. They're like Absolutely. little kids in their own ways, yes. and each little kid is different. Oh, obviously, you, obviously, you have your favorites, yeah. right? You know, <laughs> but we're not supposed. But we to. don't. But we don't tell anybody we have our favorites, right? We say they're all our favorites, but in right. you know, in our in our minds and our hearts, we do have that one favorite or <laughs> whatever it is. Jacob. And um, it's just something that you have to experience for yourself. So, like I said, and I'll say it again: mm. if you haven't experienced a harvest yet, whatever harvest that is, whatever harvest you can go to that's close to you, or that is easiest for you to experience, I would. 100% take the opportunity to do it because it's, it's unlike anything else. And we have so many people that continue to come back year after year after mm-hmm. year to re-participate in the harvest because it's something they just thoroughly enjoy and just love doing. I honestly, I couldn't believe that it wasn't everyone's first time. There were some repeat yeah. visitors. Yeah, it's fascinating that within a year you've been able to experience all of this I and you've had very... just such an amazing time and you love the products. And I, I, th- I think it's great with kind of the direction that you're moving and understanding. It's a lot to take in. I, I, th- I think you've probably realized that by now. There's it a really lot to is. know, a lot to learn. And I think kind of speaking to that part, what do you think has been probably the most challenging and rewarding part of your job so far here? Jacob, that is a really great question. So let's start with the challenge first. So I think one of the biggest challenges is that the portfolio is so vast. It's really large. And I love that because we are helping to solve a lot of problems um, and issues throughout everyone's lives. Um, And the second thing is, I actually have two two challenges. So a large portfolio, uh, and the bonus is that, is that we're able to help a lot of people. The second one is the speed at which we move, right? We we, for being a large company, we are pretty agile and pretty speedy. And we do try to listen to brand partners and we do try to react to that. One example with the reset kit that we had such a large demand that all the cross-functional teams pulled together. So it didn't matter in which department you were in. We, we wanted to make sure that we reached as many people as possible, that we helped as many people as possible. We were all down there, um, packing out reset boxes. It didn't matter which seat you sat in. And I love that. I I know that one of our core values is humility and it is a core value. And we're all happy to do that if we're making an impact. For me, the rewarding. So I know we've even had like little chats in the hallway about this and we share a lot of similar interests in health and weightlifting and our fitness. And I love that this company aligns with that value of mine, that we respect our bodies. We take care of our bodies. Our mental um, wellness is important. We need to take the time to nurture that. Now, that's really what I looked for when I am at the stage of my career that I wanted to make sure I felt fulfilled. And I love that we'll go into Mary and we will pitch every aspect of a, a project or a product and you know, there's a lot that goes into it from cost of goods and revenue and price point. And she will pause and she will say, I want to make sure that as many people as possible um, get to experience this product. I want to make um, sure that we can have something that meets everyone's needs. And for that to really, you know, I think it's easy to write that or put that on a piece of paper, but to really make decisions um, and to hear that come out of our leader's mouth time and time again, that's really impactful to me. Fascinating. And thank you so much for sharing that. And obviously, because you've only been here for the last year, it it truly falls in line with everything that we stand for. And that's always been purpose over profit. It's something that my dad advocate for for time and time again. What a lot of people may not know, yourself included, is there are many products that I can name off the top of my head that were developed or created because of either my mom, my brother, myself, or or my dad. Or if it was a brand partner that came to my dad saying, hey, I would love a product that kind of helps with this, and he would immediately start to get to work. There have been a few times where I've been in meetings with him and my mom as well, and sales or whoever, you know, obviously we're a company at the end of the day. And so we do need to make money. We do need to be profitable. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and they say, Oh yeah, we've got this great idea for this product. You know, it will bring in tons of revenue. And my dad's like, okay, how do the brand partners benefit from it? Mm -hmm. How do our customers benefit, benefit from it? What issue does it resolve? You know, 
how does that play? That was always his first question. And if they said, well, it, you know, it's like this, but it's more so revenue. My dad would be like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> no, nah, I don't care. That's not what we're about. Yeah, I so that. it's, it's, and I think you've kind of see just how people love the products because they've been created with purpose. Mm -hmm. And the byproduct from that is people's lives have been changed all around, even those here at corporate as well. And those that work inside the Young Living Walls too. So it's, it's one of my favorite aspects of this company. And, and I love that you kind of fall in line with that. And you're happy that your why and your values align with ours. And because it's good people that make a good company like you. Uh, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So with your expertise and all the years that you spent with other companies, obviously you probably found a pretty solid foundation with those other companies. And so one of the questions that I had is what made you want to make a change? Which is funny because it, it falls in line with one of our core values is like, do you want to make the change to a better lifestyle, better mm -hmm. living? So I, I ultimately would love to know kind of from your end, like what made you want to leave something so stable, comfortable, which is really good for us humans. We love comfort, right? Yeah. And not change that you wanted to do that. Yeah, it's a great question. And kind of going into my past, I, I've worked at small startups. I've worked through with huge corporations with a lot of bureaucracy and red tape. And I actually survived acquisition from a small brand to a a huge corporate brand, a house of brands. And I knew that my next, I actually took actually a pause, right? Like I was like, hey, I think I'm just going to go into consulting, right? I I really cho said to myself, like, if you're going to go back and grind hard, you've got to like love where you're going. And there are, you know, I'm going to see if, a couple points um, why I really wanted to make the change. So when I when I had my interview, I really fell in love with the leadership, and I I think the leadership is amazing here. I love that it is a big company, it's a stable company, but it's family owned, and you feel that way. I I have to say that. One of the best part of this place, and you you said it earlier, but I love the people. And I have loved the work at other places, and the, that dynamic has been more challenging, but I really, really love the people here. And then lastly for me was I really believe in living and trying your best to move to a low-tox lifestyle. And that was really important to me is that I wanted to make sure that the products I helped create it and help bring to market really fell within those guidelines. And I think with our seed to seal process, with us understanding the transparency, owning our own farms, that was the kicker for me is that I could feel good about what I was creating. You had confidence in knowing that the product you were creating was going to be in line with everything that you stood for and yes. believed in. Yes. And it's like I've said before, it's truly fantastic that no matter what product I recommend or have told people like, oh, I really enjoy this, that I know with full confidence with when they use it, how they use it, that there's not going to be an issue. There's not going to be a problem and that they're mm -hmm. going to benefit it from it one way or another. Yeah. And uh, I, I love that you talked about the thieves line and how you swear by it because thieves is just like most of our products, all of our products, I'd say there's such... They're like Swiss army knives. There's so many different <laughs> applications for them. And uh, it's even great for car cleaning. I use Thieves a lot when I had my mobile detailing business. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. All the time. It cleans out all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, I'm so happy that everything kind of fell in line and you align perfectly with everything that this company stands for and having a very strong backbone like mm -hmm. you do and standing on your morals and your values and your principles and being able to find a company like that is definitely, I'd say, more challenging in this day and age. Absolutely. And so I, I'm really happy and, and really happy that you're here mostly. Uh, so Well, I, I'm the grateful, uh, the grateful one. It's been such a joy to be here. And I don't say that lightly. I know it's easy to say, but I've really enjoyed my time here. Fantastic. Well, there is so much more time to come. There's a lot more projects <laughs> to come as well. And we are to the races with convention and everything that we're launching and excited to share with you. 
And uh, I just want to thank you for your time and your passion and everything that you've done. And if there's any last words you'd like to share with the audience. Oh, no, thank you for your leadership. I, I love getting the chance to work with you and Kate. Um, it's we've, we've had a lot of fun over the last couple of months and we have some uh, things up our sleeves. So thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for tuning into this episode of The Wild Drop. Remember, you can listen on iTunes, Spotify, on YouTube, and our website at www.youngliving.com. Don't forget to oil up Young Living family. This is Jacob Young, dropping out. Take care.